Hi everybody, it's Vanessa. I'm doing my video blog. I have not video blogged in so long and I'm really excited to be talking to you guys today. The reason I'm video blogging today is because I just got back from an amazing event at Fabens in Fabens, Texas. I just spoke to a couple hundred kids in Fabens uh, grades, fourth and fifth grades. Um, and we discussed youth entrepreneurship and following your goals, your heart, your dreams, and accomplishing what you have in your life to accomplish. And it was such a touching moment for me. It was so amazing. I was actually really nervous. I've spoken in front of adults and, you know, business people a lot, but with kids, it's another level of, of nervousness and excitement because I really wanted to communicate with them properly and help them push forward and realize that they can do it. The reason that speaking to these kids was really important to me is because as a young child, I knew since I was eight that I wanted to be an entrepreneur, that I wanted to have my own business. I was really excited about that. And it was really hard growing up knowing that I wanted to be an entrepreneur because that's something that is scary for people. Entrepreneurialism um, is not something that's easy and it's actually sometimes looked down upon. So when adults would ask me, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up or what do you want to do? I would let them know I want to start my own business one day. And you would be surprised at the responses. I would have adults telling me, mm, you, you should probably have a plan B or, oh, that's cute. No, but really, what do you want to do? And at first, I kind of let that scare me and make me you know try to rethink my dreams but I had a really great support system at home my parents really pushed me and they knew they're very entrepreneurial as well and they pushed me and said that I can do anything I put my mind to so that was really awesome and so if I can be a spark or a light for any kid out there that wants to have their own business one day that's my goal and my dream and so it was awesome talking to these kids. I actually had a little girl come up to me afterwards. She was so cute. She had pink glasses and she was holding her notebook and she looked up at me and she told me her dream, her goal is that she wants to feed the hungry. She told me, I want to feed people that don't have food. And I just encouraged her and told her what a beautiful idea that was and that I knew she could do it. And then she told me, that she's scared of doing it because she told her big sister and her big sister told her that she can't do it and that that's a really dumb idea. So I just encourage all of you watching this video, don't be a dream squisher. If somebody confides in you, their dreams, their goals, their passions, don't be that person that tries to squish their dream or tell them that they can't do it. Encourage people, especially children. I mean, the sky's the limit. They are a future. So just encourage one another, don't be a dream squisher, don't be a Debbie Downer. You know, I let that little girl know, don't listen to your sister, you can do it. I believe in you, I know that you can do it. And so be that person, be that encouragement in other people's lives, be that energy in other people's lives to help people push forward and go through with their dream. The number one thing that stops people from accomplishing their goals in life is fear. So don't allow fear to stop you. And don't be that dream squisher that puts fear in other people's hearts. So that's all I wanted to talk about. I was really pumped after my speech. And so I just wanted to put a quick video out there. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.